Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Layer by Layer. Today we're gonna to take a look at using SVGs and scaling them and sort of something that I've discovered along this new project. So uh, recently we, were, we traced our hand and we wanted to get that into CAD. And to do that, you usually import that, let's say you draw it out on paper, you take a photo of it and then you import it into something like Photoshop or Illustrator, you trace it out and you get those vector graphics and then you wanna make a 3D print of it. Well, how do you scale it properly, right? You can scale a sketch maybe and then sort of muck around with it, but here's something we found out in, uh, in, in Illustrator. So let's say we wanted to create a document where it's 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters and you want your units to be, well, millimeters, right? If we create a shape, like let's say a box, and we'll make it 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. If we save this out as an SVG, and if we import that into our CAD package, it should be 100 millimeters in theory, but it's not, and here's why. I'm gonna go to Save As, and then we'll uh, change it to SVG. I'll call it 100 millimeter box. For this SVG profile, I'll use 1.1, and you can see if you click on SVG code, you'll see that there is a height and width drawn out at 283. Hmm, that's interesting. That's not 100 millimeters, but it is 283. I wonder why. If we go into 123D and then we import that sketch, we'll import it in as a solid to save a step. Let's take a look at how big it actually is. If we take a look, it is 200 and 83.5. That is the same number that we saw in the SVG code. So what's going on here? Well, what's going on here is if you make a new document and you, and you see the width and height are 100 millimeters. Now watch what happens when I change it to pixels. It'll convert that into that number, 283.5, well, 0.46, whatever. It, that's not even correct. So what you wanna do is you wanna start with pixels as your unit. So let's say I make a new document now at 100 pixels by 100 pixels, and then I create a new box. That's the same thing, 100 pixels by 100 pixels. We'll save it out as the same, uh, the same thing and as the same SVG replace. Now let's take a look at our SVG code. You'll see the height and width is 100 by 100. That's a good sign. <laughs> Now, when we import it into our CAD package, we'll see uh, how big it really is. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Hit our little information, and there you go, 100 by 100. That's a lot more like it. So when you're using SVGs, you wanna use pixels and not millimeters, at least in Illustrator. Um, so that's just a real quick tip that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, now you can use this uh, to make really accurate prints. Um, so, okay. If you guys have any questions or have any other uh, things that you want me to check out, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any other cool uh, tips, also let, those <laughs> let people know so they can see it as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week or whenever. <laughs> Damn it. I was good. I was so good. Now it's not. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs> Oh,